Okay, so I was looking through my Google News today uh, and I was really surprised to see that uh, Android 9.0 or Lineage OS has been ported over to the Raspberry Pi 4. So thanks very much to Consta Kang uh, for porting it over and making it available. I'll put a link in the description to the build and also uh, the description uh, by the developers to basically show you how it is. It's an unofficial build of Lineage OS, um, but it's uh, it's really interesting to see it running. Uh, you can see on the main screen, you've got contacts here, two of them. Uh, that's the browser. If I drag it across, uh, so you can left click and drag. I've got email, gallery, music, and so on. Uh, if I drag down from the top, you've got your normal notifications. So you can see Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, airplane mode, and so on. You've got your notifications there as well, so I can clear those in the normal way. And if I drag it down again, and then drag down from the line, you can see that you get more options here. Now, sound isn't working for me through HDMI, but you can see I've got my Bose speaker, which is paired with Bluetooth, uh, and that works fine and sounds great. It's not, it's not um, distorting on the audio or anything like that. It sounds decent. Uh, but this is a very early build, so don't expect it to be fast. Uh, you can see all the settings looks very, uh, well, it is Android, so uh, it's as to be as expected. So if I click on home, I can go back to the main home screen. I can drag up from the bottom, and that's going to give, oh, if I drag up a bit more. Because obviously this is normally a touchscreen device. It actually makes reference to it being a tablet operating system when it loads up. Uh, so audio effects, browser, calculator, calendar, so on, uh, various different things in here. Obviously one of the most uh, interesting ones is going to be browser. The files app uh, is a basic one. It'd be nice to be able to sideload something which gave you more control because I've got a USB stick uh, plugged into here and I don't think I've got access to it. Uh, so yeah, there's nothing there and this is probably just a view difference, yeah. Uh, and search. So you've only got access to the files that are on there. I did try and use uh, Dropbox in a browser and tried to download a video and a music file, but they they became, uh, they downloaded, but they were unrecognizable uh, and they downloaded into the downloads folder. So there's nothing in there anymore. Uh, so if I click on home, just to show you that the web browser works, uh, not great, but it works. The it, operating system is running at 720, so it's running at a lower resolution than normal, um, but uh, obviously that's to do with performance, I'm sure. So that's why everything looks big on this screen as well. So if I was to do an ordinary web search, you can see the, the title at the top is really huge. Uh, if I could change it to 1080, uh, it would probably impact the performance, so I won't bother to do that. Again, this is a very early build. Uh, it's an unofficial build of Lineage OS, so it's uh, really admirable that it's got up and running to this stage. Uh, so if I click on that, you can see that it comes up fine. Looks pretty decent. I can scroll through that. Scrolling is very slow. Uh, I mentioned that I've got audio, so if I go to YouTube, there you go, it comes up with YouTube. I can search for one of my videos. and view my channel. There we go, comes up, click on playlist. Let's try and find something with a bit of movement in it. Any of these vacuum cleaner tests will do that. Let's go with maybe that one. So if I turn up, oh, the sound is working now. So the sound is actually coming out of my TV. Well, you can you can hear it because um, it will be coming through the screen capture. Oh, okay, so sound is working fine now. Uh, I re resorted to uh, Bluetooth before, so if I turn on my... Connected to LE128 and Raspberry P4. So it connects to my Raspberry P4, uh, and you can hear it coming through now. So, I'll just turn that off because I don't need me speaking over myself. Uh, if I drag down, 
and I get the notification, drag down again, gives us a bit more details and when the speaker's on, you can see it connects really quickly and works fine. Obviously you can see YouTube's choppy, um, this is to be expected, not everything is, is uh, fully working yet or, or optimised in any way, but it's working and that's nice to see. I won't go full screen because sometimes going full screen makes it go a bit strange. So what I'll do is one of my usual hot UK deals. And I'll obviously test this again uh, when there's newer builds of this because obviously uh, a lot of work needs to be done. But it's, it's just impressive to see another operating system being available on the Pi 4. Uh, it is a great platform and uh, you know if we can get Android run, running with the Play Store, running with side loading, uh, then we could see all sorts of apps uh, appearing on the Pi. Um, and also maybe people would get uh, you know decent touch screens running on it. Uh, there's all sorts of possibilities. But also as maybe a TV operating system, uh, it could be good as well. There you go. Scrolling is, is not the best, obviously. So if I just go click on home, so again, slide up from the bottom and you get all your apps. Click on home. If I click on the square, then it shows me the open apps and I can drag between open apps. It is meant to be a touchscreen environment, so you know not everything works as well as it should. I seem to have several. Oh no, that's a. Oh, there's a. Oh, I also found as well. If I press and hold, yeah, there's a split screen option, but I didn't quite know how to implement that. Oh, there's something here. That. So is that one app and then another? Yeah. So like a side-by-side -side mode, and that looks like you can move that. Yeah, again, needs a, <laughs> needs a bit of work. And you can see on the bottom, the device comes up as Pi 4, and I think if you click on that and keep clicking, yeah, you can. I think you can get developer mode on this. I read something about being able to do, but I won't bother doing that in this video. But uh, anyway, I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching, please like and subscribe.